Hello, so I'm gonna answer a question in this video. And the question is, why is my voice getting unstable and unreliable on the middle range? Uh, when I approach the middle range singing, uh, it gets shaky or it hurts or you feel maybe that you cannot lean on it. And this is a very common problem. You want to lean on, to give more energy, to give it more punch, more, more gas but it just doesn't respond. It's like you don't have the thing to go for it. You can't go. You try, but you end up in something like, ah, something like this, right? So the, there is a demonstration on that question uh, that was sent to me, and it goes something like this. Uh, with Vol here, if I, I'm not uh, mistaken, uh, and on the middle range, it goes like, eh, kind of like this, kind of shouty and uh, very open. Uh, you can hear that the quality gets super bright on the upper range. And uh, the complaint is that you can do the slides of sirens, sirens like this without breaking. But when you try to sing with that quality, something goes like, well, I love something like this, right? and it, it's shaky, it's not reliable. So what the hell is going on? And uh, I, I know this is a common point for, for a lot of people. That's why I'm addressing it, okay? So, uh, here's the deal. Uh, there are lots of things that our larynx can do with our vocal folds, right? Uh, the, vocal folds, the vocal folds themselves are a muscle, so they can coordinate in a certain manner. And there are muscles all around the larynx that bring them together, stretch them to rise the pitch, uh, open them. Uh, there are different muscles that uh, that change the closure coordination slightly so it's a very complex motion and what's going on in that well uh, first let's talk about the sound right what's going on what what is this sound that we are hearing ah! Ah! so uh, the reason why the quality thins out and, and gets smaller is that a property that we often address as uh, call metal is getting diminished. You're getting reduced. You get less metal on the sound. All right. And where does metal come from? Mostly it comes from pressing the folds together more firmly and increasing the volume, right? All right. And what is the matter? Well, uh, normally when we are speaking, uh, the way we normally use our voices to speak, the muscles that close the vocal folds, they don't need to be very coordinated or independent of each other, right? You bring the folds together or you open them. You don't really have to, to carefully press them together in a certain manner. There is no such thing. You just close and go or open. Like when you cough, it's all together. <coughs> uh, or when, even when you're shouting, hey, you're doing something like this. Uh, it's kind of all in. You don't, you don't really have to fine tune anything. But when you start to get it, get into the upper range, if all the muscles come together, it starts to get in the way of the pitch coordination, the pitch regulation, the pitch regulation. And that can be very problematic. Uh, so you end up in these situations, right? You, you either get a very frail quality, ah, ah, something like this, or airy, right? <laughs> Which is not that, that bad, maybe. It's an improvement in a sense, but it's not quite there. So what do you need to do? You need to get some extra separation on that coordination so that you can go, Aah! right? And that's fuller. The reason why it's fuller is that uh, I'm using... Uh, some of the muscles that bring the folds together are active and the one that's on the body of the folds is not as active as it could be, right? And it can be heavier. It's possible to coordinate things in an in a even heavier manner. But anyways, what's critical in here is that you identify this motion that produces this, this closure, this closing quality. And you can also identify the, co the coordination that makes your voice 
light or heavy because they are the things that are interacting and producing the problems and will also produce the solutions, right? So how can you find out the thing that makes your voice heavy? Uh, you can break your voice like, ah, 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 ah. very likely you're going to feel like a, a, a switching sensation, a transition. Some people will report that the voice turns over, this turning over, control it and explore that. See what happens when you turn over, when you unturn over, like you go super heavy and you really, really go for it and keep it like this. See what happens to your voice. And what if you let go completely? You're going to end up in something like this, very hollow, right? Uh, kind of Mickey voice. And uh, here is the thing. After you get a grasp of it and get the, the gist of it, uh, flip completely, go super light and try to find a way to make, from that light position, Try to find a way to make your voice sound fuller again. It will not sound as full as going like, Hey, hey, come on! Of course, it will not sound like that, but you can go like, ah, And from here, you start to explore, and you're gonna see, you can find this. Ah, hey! Oh! And it's not the prettiest quality in the world, I know, but it will allow you to work on this uh, independent control. Um, this to me is very, very important to achieve uh, freedom and to be able to explore things. For example, a uh, critical element that I consider a milestone on training is learning how to cover properly, getting to the middle range and getting ah! something like this, right? And that involves lightening your voice somewhat so you get to a lighter quality but you don't let go completely and keeping a very high or as high as you can level of closure of metal on your voice. And these things, they are hard to, to, to adjust. Although trying to go in that direction and the sound will move you towards that. So that's a very, that's why it's important actually. But uh, if you have a, 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 this control sorted out, it's much easier for you to train that. Uh, otherwise, it's, it can be very frustrating, uh, I know from experience. So, mm, yeah, that's it. That's the answer. Uh, and these coordinations, they can be explored. There are lots of ways to do that. I'm not getting to the, the, the nitty-gritty details here, but uh, that that explanation that I gave on the breaking and exploring the, those limits can 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 be very fruitful. Uh, you can even, uh, you know, uh, in the same way that you found a lot of metal with the lighter possible voice like this, you can also exaggerate it and use a lot of weight and you're gonna get a very, very different voice, uh, which is also very useful depending on what you want to do. Uh, I, I think this is uh, very easy to see, I, I believe. Uh, yeah. That's it. I hope it's clear. If you guys have any other questions about it, I'll make another video. Let me know. And yeah, see you.